if I could only have three practical Tacoma mods, what would they be and why? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. That's right. If I had to choose, if I had to choose only three practical mods, and these, again, are practical mods, right? I'm not talking about bigger wheels and tires. I'm not talking about a lift. I'm not talking about an exhaust. These are three practical mods, mods that actually serve a purpose, things that aid you or help you in driving the truck, that make you more comfortable or whatever. What would they be? Well, let me take a look here and let me show you. First off, uh, you can see right here on the front of the truck, this one is uh, quite apparent there, and that is the window tent. You know, I think window tent is a must have, and I think every vehicle should come from the factory with some sort of stronger window tent in the front, at least equivalent to what's in the back, not that little lighter tent that they include. Now, there's a few reasons for this. For me, the sun is blinding when I'm driving home or when I used to drive home from work, you know, in the evenings or even on the way to work in the mornings. You'd be driving down the freeway and you'd have that sun just blasting in your window, right? And how many times, I can't even tell you, I would go to get on the freeway, look over my shoulder to the left because obviously I want to see what cars are coming over there, right? But the sun is sitting right there. So I'm looking into the blinding sun and it is blinding. At least it was for me, even with sunglasses on. Now, since I've had the tent, it filters all that out, right? I noticed that I could look over that direction and I wouldn't be blinded by the sun. You know, what's up there blinding me right now? It was no problem. Now, I think it's a safety concern. You know, we worry so much about everything else. You know, helmets on bicycles, seat belts, all this other crazy stuff. Why in the world isn't the glare of the sun blinding you when you're driving a consideration? I don't know. So number one is the window tent. I think that that is one of the first Practical mods, again, we're talking practical mods that you can get in your Tacoma. Next up, let's talk about the rear here a little bit, particularly the composite bed that's back here. You know, Toyota, of course, or the Tacoma rather, has this composite bed right here. You hear that? That is the plastic composite bed. That thing is like ice. When you put anything in the back of your truck, it just flips around and slips around all over the place back there, right? So the bed mat, what I've got in there is a Tacoma, you can see it written there, rubberized bed mat. This thing is like glue. I've done videos in the past where I've actually showed um, things and how they hold in there on that mat. You know, I've gone out, put a cooler in there, some other stuff, just to show how it it's like glued in there with that mat. Now, it may not be quite that strong. I mean, obviously, if you take a curve at, you know, 90, things might go flying a little bit, but I would guess they'll probably just fall over before they'll slide around in there. It's horrible in the back of the Tacoma without the mat. The other thing is to protect that plastic composite bed from being damaged, you know, deep scratches. Um, maybe if you haul dirt or something and you're shoveling it out and you're thrusting that shovel down there into the bottom of that bed. The last thing you want to do is look in your brand new truck and see that composite bed all marred up, potentially gouged, because it's not protected. The bed mat will help with that. You won't have all the scratches and nicks and things that you might get if you use your truck, of course, as it was intended. Next up, and this one we have to take a look inside for, and this is kind of due to today's technology era. Let's take a peek in here. And what I'm talking about is the DMM system, the dash multi-mount you guys can see right here. Now, I was never really aware of how important this thing is until I actually got it. You know, I used to hang my phone from a suction cup on the windshield, which by the way, that Skosh system, the magnetic mount with the suction cup is probably the next best thing that you can get compared to this. There's tons of other products out there in the market. Have you ever seen the ones that you stick into your vent here? They kind of clasp or grab onto your vent and then you try to mount your phone there. No way. Those things are garbage. What about the ones that go down here in the cup holder? 
you know, they fit in there and then they have a little bracket thing and you set your phone on it. You know, that's not going to go flying anywhere. But the problem with that is, is anytime you want to check your phone, and we all do it, you know, as soon as your phone beeps or dings or plays a tune or whatever it is that you have it set to do, you want to look at it. You want to see who just texted you, who emailed you, right? Now, with the DMM system, the dash multi-mount, you can just look. My phone would be mounted right here facing me. So all I have to do is take a quick glance and I can see what's coming in, right? I don't really even have to take my eyes off the road. I'm still looking forward, albeit a little bit in that direction, but I'm still looking forward. I'm not looking at my vent here where my phone may be or down here where it may be sitting in the cup holder. I'm looking right there. And I got to say with the magnet system they have, it is awesome. Uh, my phone is not flown off of there. I think you could probably even use it in fairly heavy off-roading situations. That's how strong this magnet is. I highly recommend this system. The only downside, of course, behind here, you can see right there, there is a track. You actually do have to drill a few holes to put this in. But the good thing about it is all of this is hidden behind this lip. You can't see it. If I was to remove these two pieces I have up here that I hold my phone up with, you'd never know that there was a, a track mounted or a, a bracket mounted back here. You could even leave it on and forget about it. I would guess that when you go to trade your vehicle in, they're never going to even know it's there. So it's not going to be a problem as far as, you know, damaging the truck or reducing resale value or any of that. I think it's just uh, the perfect alternative in this technology system that we live in where we constantly have to be able to see the phone, right? One more thing I want to say about this, if you do go with some kind of a system like this, and by the way, I am not sponsored by any of these people. They're just excellent options that I really like. But if you ever go with one of these, this magnetic mount is the way to go as long as you can mount that plate, which is just a steel plate you glue to the back of your phone on the back of your phone or your iPad or whatever it is that you might want to stick up there so that you have access to, these are the way to go. They are awesome. Now, I know I had said I was only going to talk about three, but I am going to throw in a fourth because this thing saves me frustration. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about are these seat gap fillers right here. Now, there's one here on the driver's side, one over there on the passenger side, and they are exactly what I'm telling you they are. They fill the gap between the seat and the center console. That stops stuff from falling down underneath your seat. I don't know how many times I've dropped something since I've had those in that I go, man, am I glad I have these things because I don't have to screw with trying to fish around under there and find that pen or quarter or even your cell phone. How many of you have ever dropped your cell phone between the seat before? The seat and that center console. I've done it. I know what happens. And with these seat gap fillers, it's not a problem. Now, you won't be able to find the ones that say Tacoma on them probably because I think it was like a one-shot deal. I've never seen them since. But there are generics out there that are just black uh, that do the exact same job. I highly recommend those. Anyway, those are the three plus one practical mods that I think everybody should have when they first get their Tacoma, or even if you've had it for a while. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my little list there. Is there anything I forgot from a practical standpoint um, that maybe I should add to my truck? I'd like to know. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.